He was served at Comic Con, and this is gonna break y'all heart because it broke mine. All right, he was served at Comic Con, and if you know JDF, um, that's his bread and butter. That's where he probably met he met Kazi Warrior there. That's where he probably met a lot of people, and to be doing something you love and then being served by the love of your life per se at Comic-Con, man, like Belinda, what you think about that? Like Belinda, come on, sh- share something, share something, share, share your thoughts. So, all right, this is the affidavit of service. So basically um, what happens when you file for divorce and you need to serve someone, you hire a service that serves people. Their job is to basically go serve people. So, uh, I blocked out all the pertinent information, but this is his job number because guess what? The, the the company serving him only sees him as a job. This is brought to you by plaintiff Tammy Frank, you know, his quote unquote soulmate. This person states, I am over 18 and I am competent to make this affidavit of service. I am not party to this suit nor related. So you basically can't have it, have them related. And what happened? Someone dropped a dime on him. Somebody put, is Classy still here? Is Classy still here? Is Classy still in the chat? Y'all, y'all following this young thug in uh, this YSL case? Someone dropped a dime on our hero JDF and said, hey, he is right here. I know exactly where he's at. Go serve him now. And who do you think had that information? Now, granted, he does post a lot, so it ain't hard to find. But Kazi Ward is right. Kazi War is exactly right. You don't ever serve anyone at work like that in front of their fans. You got them right, Kazi. You right. Now, look, I did some digging, but here we go, right? So let's see. This is his name. This is where he at. This is Comic-Con. This is in Lubbock, Texas. This is August 19th at 644. Uh-oh. What do we have? We have an unsuccessful attempt, right? That's what we want to see, right? Because we don't want our guy getting served. Because guess what they're going to serve him with? This temporary restraining order and the hearing. Hey, you got this TRO and you got to come to this hearing. So what happened? This is August 19th, 2022 at 11 a.m. at this place, um, at this address. This person arrived and spoke with blah, blah, blah. This is the promoter of the Hub City Comic Con who advised that JDF flight had been delayed. I walked the entire venue. I could not locate JDF. I called the promoter later in the day and he advised me that JDF had canceled the event. (laughs) This is where you know you got friends, right? If someone is trying to serve me and they call you like, hey, hey, where Henry at? You better say, hey, I don't know. Is he coming here today? I don't know. I don't think so. I think he canceled that, right? But these, these process servers, they are, they are resilient, right? So what happens? She, she got him. Successful attempt. August 19th, 644, at the same spot. I arrived. I met with the fire marshal. I blocked out his name, who was on duty near the entrance. I requested an escort to the table where JDF was signing goddamn it autographs for fans, for the people he loved, for the people who loved him, for the people that looked up to him, for our hero. He's signing autographs. What'd they do? They hop in line. I waited for JDF to finish with a fan and approached him. Hey, Mr. Mr. Frank confirmed his identity, but refused the document stating he was busy at the time. <sighs> She got him. Got him. Right while he signed in fans. Could you imagine being the fan who's getting that autograph signed? And then you walk off and the next person come up and say, hey, JDF? He's like, oh, yeah, what's up? You've been served. He's like, oh, I'm busy. She's like, I don't care. So I placed the documents reference herein on the table that was he was using to sign autographs. So basically, she put the documents on the table where he was signing autographs and advised that I was delivering a citation, because that's what it was, the original petition for divorce, and the temporary restraining order. 
security officer blank with the Lubach defense security was present. So basically saying, these are the people who witnessed it. Okay. And this is signed and sealed. And there is your proof that he was served at Comic-Con. Now this pisses me off because this is the soul. This is her soulmate. And someone told where JDF was and they said, Hey, we're going to buy a ticket. We're going to go there. We're going to serve him. We're going to serve him at Comic-Con. And I looked up this Comic-Con, but I had to reset my computer. So he was served at, he was served at 644, right? What time did Comic-Con end? It ended at 9 p.m. So with it ending at 9 p.m. that day, after he got served, he had to come, he had to stay at work and keep signing autographs. Like, what? And you, you saw the divorce petition. You saw the TRO. So think about that. Think about that. Hey, I'm at work. I'm happy. I know I'm going through a, you know, a rough patch with my wife, but I'm signing autographs. Bam, served. Anyway, what happens? We almost there, y'all. Bear with me. We going we gonna to get through. We, we should be able to get through everything. And the, the final bomb is going to. And what, what does Monica say? Please tell me you're joking. No, I'm not joking. I'll put, I'll put it back up for you. I'll put it back up. Maybe Monica just came in. There I go, right there. He was served at Comic-Con. This is the affidavit of service. This is saying, hey, yes, he was served. Look, yeah. Like, there I go. It's signed, sealed, and delivered. What happens next? What happens next? Because, of course, I got it. All right. Let's see. This is JDF's response on uh, September 6th in the upper right-hand corner. This is what he says. Like, I can't imagine what he was going through getting served at Comic-Con in front of his fans and still having to stay at Comic-Con. And now this is what he responds. This is roughly, what, two weeks later? Because it, it takes time. Maybe he didn't know divorce was coming. She said he had a lawyer. So the two weeks, uh, what does he say? This is respondent's original answer. So when you get divorced, I'll, I'll go into this for a second because no one on, no one on YouTube has this information. It's just me. Because I'm the only one who cares, it seems like. You got people in, you know, the Believe All Women people telling me, How dare you? Like, what? And then you know.